Cheers to Bing AI creating this drink. What does a tequila sunset have to do with Bing's new search engine? Ooh. Bing knows how to party. Good question. One that Bing's new AI powered search can answer. I'm glad you like tequila. There are many cocktail recipes that use tequila. Here are some of them. A tequila Paloma, tequila sunrise, I've heard of that. A margarita. You've likely heard about ChatGPT. Now Microsoft is incorporating some of the same underlying technology into its search engine. With a chat-like interface you can use for everything from simple answers to complex travel itineraries. I gotta see what's happening here. Where, where's this going, Bing? The new Bing can also craft songs, write code, and chat about the world's knowledge in a casual and interactive way. All of those um, capabilities are not something that you've seen with search before, so we've essentially just reinventing the category. While ChatGPT uses data through 2021, the new Bing is even more powerful with answers that are up to date. Right now, access is by wait list. Those who are getting in are experimenting with what it can do. Screenshots circulating online show wrong answers or the chatbot acting confused or angry. Microsoft says that's all part of the learning process. It's an early product, and the reason why we wanted to bring it to market is to start to get feedback from real-world scenarios, and that's exactly what we've been get getting. Google and others like Neva are testing similar AI tools. So now I'm conversing with this search engine. Bing is hoping the early buzz can help them win another look from consumers. I think it's going to be very hard for Bing to capture Google's 90 plus percent of the search engine market share. But there is a fighting chance, there is, a, there is this slight chance that it does capture some of it. But there certainly seems to be a lot of interest in people saying, hey, I might try out Bing again.